Well, this morning we are talking about the sandwich generation. Have you heard of that? As baby boomers age, their care will likely come from today's millennials and the youngest members of Gen X. So that's going to add to the financial stress they already face while caring for their own families. So as always with us to discuss available resources is Dan Amon, a financial advisor with Morgan Stanley. Dan, thanks for being here today. My pleasure. Gosh, this affects so many families. What is it the sure state does. of caregiving right now in our country? Well, 40 million people in America provide unpaid care for their loved ones. 10,000 baby boomers a day are turning 65. So if you think about our aging population, and when we refer to the sandwich generation, many of those caregivers, age 35 to 55 mm -hmm. or so, the average, have children at home as well. So it's that sandwich and trying right. to balance those duties. I'm seeing on our graphic there, majority of them between age 35 to 64. So that's key, because as we said, you know, that's right when people are trying to raise their right. own family. So how do you plan for this financially? Well, and that is difficult. And as the statistics show, 10 million millennials care providing mm -hmm. care as they're starting to launch their careers and wow. build their financial background and their base. And that is a challenge and a strain that the average hours per week of those caregivers is 20 hours per week. Hmm. If you think about that, trying to balance that and your career of which a majority of them are working, that is the difficulty in trying to save for retirement, provide for your mm -hmm. loved ones and balance everything in between. And one of the key thing I think you talk about is to discuss those finances and health care wishes Absolutely. as a family ahead so of time. up front and depending on the situation and there's obviously the wide spectrum of needs and care mm -hmm. but understanding the diagnosis or health issues and planning for the outlook for that and what type of care is going to be needed. Understanding the financial picture, not just yours, but more importantly, your loved ones or parents to know what type of assets they have to help provide for that care and making those decisions down the road. I think one unknown factor is that people often incorrectly think that Medicare is going to cover for long-term care mm -hmm. expenses, and it does not. Wow. covers for medical care, but not that long-term care. So we're running a little bit out of time, but real quickly, there are some areas where you can get help. Absolutely, so seek help, that's the bottom line. Look for community resources that can support you through your health care provider, through many other agencies. Look for help to mm -hmm. allay some of the responsibility, get educated, and you'll be far better off to plan in advance. Dan, as always, great advice. We're gonna have much more of your tips, I believe, on our website. So thanks again for being here, an issue that affects so many families right now. It's my pleasure, make it a great day.